Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually disable remote desktop connection, remote assistance, and even stop someone from accessing your computer using Team Viewer. So let's say I want to disable remote desktop and remote assistance. What I need to do first of all is to go to my start menu. And here I'm going to type control panel. In control panel, um, my view by is selected to be large icons. So I'm going to go to system. And on a system, I will need to go to the advanced system settings. But I can actually achieve the same thing by just click 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 your the right with your right mouse and then click system and it's going to take you to your home settings so what i need to do just click on your system info and it will take you to your control panel system so click on advanced system settings and here we have on our advanced on our system properties we have remote so right now remote desktop is actually disabled by default so probably maybe one way or the other, you've already um, clicked to allow remote connection, but we can actually just check, select don't allow remote connection to this computer. And again, uncheck allow remote assistance to this computer. So when I uncheck that, click apply and click OK. So which means that someone, no one will be able to connect to your computer using remote desktop or remote assistance. And if you can see here on this device, I have team viewer as well so what i can actually do if i think that i don't want someone to actually connect to this computer so the best way to do this is just to go to my programs and future and here i have team viewer so what you just need to do in team viewer is to uninstall team viewer or what i can as well do is let me just start team viewer first and show you some Something you can as well disable in TeamViewer. So in TeamViewer, I've started TeamViewer. Here, when I go to Extras and I go to Options, in Security, there's an options called the Window Logon. So here it says Rules for connection, connect, Connections to this computer. So we have the option to allow for administrators only, allow for all users. So I would advise you to always put this to not allowed so that someone will not be able to connect to your device and have admin um, rights on this device using TeamViewer. So if someone you trust very well want to connect to this computer if you are using a company device, you can as well check this on so that someone can connect to your device using please make sure that the user who are configured for windows authentication use secure password and here again we have the option to actually secure a eight character password let me just uncheck this so we have eight character password which makes it very strong give us a very strong password instead of the um the default six password we uh, which is which comes with team viewer my name is Kelvin Johnson. Please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to like my video. You can also share my video if you think this video can help someone else as well. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related video. Thank you very much and see you next time.